I now teach the topic on incarnational ministry. I feel that understanding this posture will transform your ministry approach. I wanted to provide a quick overview of what this term means and how to apply it as you seek to reach your neighborhood for Christ. If you are interested in taking a course on the topic, please register at senttotheworld.org. In a nutshell, incarnational means that the life and ministry of Jesus becomes the example that we seek to pattern in our own lives. The central verse for the term incarnational is found in John chapter 1, verse 14. We read that the Word became flesh. In Latin, carnis means flesh and the prefix in means the same in English, in. So incarnate means in the flesh. In Jesus, God became flesh and came in the form of a man, but in which the fullness of God dwelt. We also read in the same verse that the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. In the Greek, the word dwelling is skenu, which means tabernacled or pitched a tent. In other words, Christ moved into our neighborhood and lived among humanity. As we seek to follow the pattern of Christ and immerse ourselves into our neighborhood, which is our mission field, we become God's representatives and continue the ministry which Jesus began. There are three traits that help describe incarnational ministry, which, if we apply, we will have the same mindset as Christ. And this is based from Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. The first way Jesus showed us the way to incarnational ministry was by entering into God entered into our broken world in the person of Jesus. He left his heavenly throne, seated at the right hand of the Father, and lived among humanity in its fullness. Christ entered in a way which was least expected. He came from humble beginnings. He was born of a poor, young Jewish woman in the least suitable spot where you would think a king should be born. He was born in Nazareth, and for 30 years of his life, which was 90% of his life, he lived among the people as a devout Jew, worked as a carpenter, honored the customs of the day, the dress, language, and even had a family. He became as one of the people he intended on reaching. He immersed himself completely into the world he came to reach. In ministry, we follow Christ's example when we leave our own domain and comfort for the sake of those we seek to reach. We also Take the first step in building relationships to serve as bridges to God. And we don't expect others to come to us, but meet those we seek to reach on their turf. The second way Jesus showed us the way to incarnational ministry was by emptying himself. He was made in the likeness of men and relinquished his rights and control. Jesus vacated his heavenly realm in exchange for a broken world. As a human, he became vulnerable and at the mercy of fallen humanity. Christ was equal with God, able to move any mountain and impose his will if he desired. Instead, he did not demand, coerce, or force others to recognize his lordship. In ministry, we follow Christ's example when we empty ourselves of any reliance on worldly power, prestige, or possessions, so all the glory can be given to God. We also surrender control and become vulnerable to the hospitality and mercy of those we seek to reach. Finally, we empty ourselves of any privilege to which we feel entitled, but show a pattern of self-denial. The third way Jesus showed us the way to incarnational ministry was by humbling himself. Jesus showed humility by not taking advantage of his power and position, though he was God. Instead, he took the form of a bondservant or slave, making himself of no reputation. In this role, his main aim was service to others and not expecting the same treatment in exchange. He went as far as surrendering his own life willingly for our sake, facing rejection, shame, and humiliation. Through the foolishness of the cross and his resurrection, 
Jesus, a lowly servant, conquered death, and the resurrection gives us a guarantee of eternal life for those who believe. In ministry, we follow Christ's example when we show humility by not thinking of ourselves more than we ought to, as if in our own strength we can bring about any transformation in our neighborhood. We also recognize that we can do nothing in and of ourselves, but depend fully on God. In the same way that Christ entered, emptied, and humbled himself, we follow the same pattern in our own neighborhood and immerse ourselves and be the hands and feet of Jesus. Through Christ's example, we will see the power of God manifest itself when individuals come into a relationship with Christ and make Him the Lord of their lives. I hope this video gave you an, gave you an idea of what incarnational ministry is. If you would like to go in depth into the topic, you can sign up for this course at senttotheworld.org, which I will be teaching personally. God bless.